Hello everyone, and welcome back to All Mods 9. We are of course back, and in the last episode, we revolutionized the way that we do spawning. So as you can see, our mob spawning room is still the same, except the mob spawners have been relocated. But, as you can see, we're still getting mobs. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I'm sure that was perfectly fine and normal. You know what, I reckon it probably got like pushed away. Anyway, um, and on the side here, we have um, a few different buttons. Uh, so for example, if I click blaze, it might take a few seconds, but as you can see, we start getting blazes. If I wanted zombies as well, oh, actually the zombies might've already been on. Hmm. Not too sure about the zombies. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That looks like it's on now. And then we've also got slimes. So if I press all those buttons, as you can see, we get slimes. Now there's a little bit of a spoiler in terms of where they're coming from as seen by them zipping through the world there. Let's turn the slimes off. Um, the zombies off and the blazes off, even though the zombies, I don't even know if they're working. Um, and yeah, let, let's go have a look. So what we did is we moved the spawners over here into the jungle, <laughs> um, or into the forest. And that's pretty much it. Like that, that, that's the whole thing. Below there is an Airs Nouveau warp portal. Um, they're quite easy to make, as you can see. Um, the whole portally part doesn't really render with the shaders, but that's fine. And then the actual spawners are set up with redstone receivers hooked up with, um, button screen modules from RF Tools Utility. So there's that. Now, the reason we did that was two reasons. One was obviously because it's cool. <laughs> um, the other reason was because, um, well, I guess multiple reasons. One is obviously now we've got it hooked up so we can automate it a little bit better. Um, and then on top of that, the other reason was we needed slime balls and we were sort of running out of room here to place spawners. I could build up, but it's kind of, I, I didn't want to do it here. I, I just didn't want to. So we did it over there. Now, arguably, I, I mentioned it last episode, the real strat would be to have multiple portals so that you get the max amount of entity spawning um, regardless of how many you turned on. Where currently, if I think I have them, if I, I, blah, blah, blah. I think if I have them all on, they have a max entities of 32 and these can spawn 16 each if they had enough room. So it's sort of like, we're probably losing out a little bit, but it's fine. At, at the very least, it looks cool. Now, the reason we needed slime balls is for the infinite storage part that we're working towards. And as you can see, we no longer need slime balls because we've, uh, we've got enough. Um, so next on the list, there's silicon. Oh, that's still, you know, that's still making its way. Um, but then we've got stuff like quartz, gold, diamond, and some redstone. Now, although I'm not 100% sure where you can get all this stuff from, I do know that the cave creeper does drop things like diamonds. I'm not sure once again, I'm pretty sure it's a very small amount, but I'm pretty sure it happens. Okay, and that's the main thing. Mob drops, cave creeper. So this guy here has um, a 1% chance, affected by looting, um, to drop a diamond. He has 10% chance for uh, gold and 20% for iron. I want to give it a shot. We'll set it up. We'll see exactly how much we can get out of this guy. Um, now, the only problem is that I don't have cave creeper. <laughs> that's It's a pretty big problem. Now, I believe if I get a swab from mob grinding utilities, then we can get our hands on one quite easily, assuming, of course, once again, that we actually find uh, the mob. Um, now, they're in caves, spoiler alert, but people have things set up, possibly myself included, um, that stop hostile mobs from spawning, like, close to you, um, and, like, in your chunks and stuff. So I think I'm going to have to travel out a little bit and then try to find a, a cave elsewhere. So it looks like we do have some caves over here. I don't really know how far they go. Worst case, we'll just dig down. I think with the structure compass, we could probably even just find like a cave. Um, but we'll head around and we'll just try to try to get into yeah, like a, a cave like this. You guys can't see anything at the moment. Now you can. And so we're looking for a cave creeper. Now these guys, also the spider webs, whatever's adding this, biomes are plenty. Like these these webs are disgusting. But pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we're looking for a cave creeper. I believe it's stone colored. And so they blend in quite creepishly. Um, but on top of that, we may find like dots on the map. There are actually so many cobweb. Oh, yeah, I'm not, not a fan of the cobweb. I mean, like it's cool. I'm just not a fan of them. You know what I mean? Like I don't want them gone. <laughs> just the like they're doing their job, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Now that's a creeper. Not what we want. A bunch of mobs just spawn in front of us. Oh, you know what? We've probably still got our um, entity distance down. Let's turn that up so we can see mobs from further away. We've got a, a glow squid farm. That's great. We'll just tank all these shots for a little bit. 
Do we see any... What, what are these noises? What? You know, I think it's this guy. I think this guy's just sort of uh, making stuff happen. A necromancer. Cool. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna probably have to explore for a little while because the fact that we have creepers down here and not specifically cave creepers is a little bit disappointing. Whether I need to go further or, or what the deal is, I'm not too sure. You know, this is actually a spider nest biome um, from Biomes of Plenty. So I guess that explains it. I guess this isn't in every single cave you come across. Um, I am still a little bit scared that there's going to be like the mega spider. You know what I mean? Like just the biggest spider that we've ever seen in our life. Straight out of Skyrim or something. But uh, so far so good. I just wanted to pop in to show you the uh, rate at which we can explore <laughs> now that we're... Uh, oh, of course, a little bit of rubber banding now. But yeah, the, the rate at which we can exp explore now is ridiculous. I'm currently trying to look for a mushroom island because I've got a, a <laughs> comment on Reddit here from Stud Bacon that suggested that that is the way to do it. Check uh, in caves below mushroom islands. And so... I've searched Mushroom Field, and I guess that is how you find yourself a Mushroom Island. So we'll wait for the, the world to catch... Oh! Oh yeah, I think all this is water, most likely. Um, or at least... Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, I'll wait for the world to catch up. Oh, here we go. We've got interesting pink water over there. Oh! Is that oil, maybe? Yeah, I think that's oil. And so this is... I mean, it's a Mushroom Island, but it's definitely an, an island, I'll tell you that much. Um, cool! I'll, I'll head below. The pink water with the shaders as well. Did not expect that. That actually looks really cool. Um, alright, so... Yeah, I guess I'll head down. I'll let you know what I find. Uh, let's go into small tunnel mode. Let's get... Oh, I realized as well, I, would, I do still take full damage. As, as much as I like to pretend that I don't, I very much do. And so we do need to be smart about this. Now, this is all just water. That is, uh... That is rough. Let's, uh, maybe place some dirt there so that we don't drown. Um, I will give you guys some vision back. You're welcome. Um, I might actually have to go back to those caves and hope that there's yeah, a spot that doesn't have... Uh, I was going to say um, water in it. Like this. Um, okay, so this goes... Oh, this goes further up this way into nothingness. Cool. If we check the map, what do we have? Glow squids, creepers, cave creeper. <gasps> yeah, oh, there's, there's a lot. Okay. We just need to find out where it actually is. Because um, obviously it's... It's here somewhere, and the question is just, where? So I'm gonna dig some massive tunnels, like this, and I'm just gonna try and unearth this uh, this cave. So this is obviously a cave full of water. I don't know how long I can stay under here before I drown. I mean, how am I actually gonna find this? It's all just water. Th this is beautiful, by the way. I'm, clearly it's a problem, <laughs> but it, that is stunning. All right. Let's, um, let's try this again. <laughs> let's, let's hop back down. Maybe, what's like a good level to stop at? Or do I just do this on like every single one? I know I should probably just be doing the normal mining tunnel. Magnetite. Okay. Oh, no, not mining tunnel, sorry. Small tunnel. There we go. What do we, hold on. Okay. All right. Okay, yep. So I'm hoping to just stumble upon a cave at <laughs> one of these uh, attempts. Alright. I'll probably be back then once I discover that. Oh, it was rough, but there we go. I swabbed it right before it died. Cool. I believe that's it. We got it. Sweet. Alright, we'll head back. <laughs> Alright, so that should be Cave Creepers taken care of. Craft with a bucket of XP and seeds for a cave creeper spawn egg, essentially. Um, so we'll put all of this junk that we got away. Wonderful. Um, we will then search for the swab. Right click this guy. Um, so that recipe goes in there. Seeds, essence bucket, place our swab in. We get GM chicken feed for the cave creeper. All that we need to do now is actually find a chicken. Um, so usually I just run behind into this forest and there's... I mean, there's usually quite a few chickens back here. Right. Come on. <laughs> I'm just watching the minimap, just hoping to see a chicken. Plenty of sheep. Sadly, sheep are not chickens. Alright, we're back. Oh, 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 oh. And we found chicken. Um, 
over here. <laughs> and so all I do is feed this. Ta-da! Oh, ta-da! Boom. We have a... Yep, yep, cool. Yep. Uh, yep, and we get a spawning. We get a spawning. We're going to take the spawning bed. <laughs> all right. Now, the only problem is... I don't actually have a spawner. I, I don't have a spare spawner. That That is a problem. Um, I need to find a spawner. Now... Honestly, I might be able to do that with a structure compass, maybe. Um, what's it currently set to? Buried treasure, okay. Um, we're gonna change this to be, can I just search spawner? <laughs> like, no, okay. We're gonna search dungeon. Um, I think we want a dungeon crawl dungeon. I think that's what we want. I'm gonna select it. Um, I'm gonna right click and it reckons there is one 500 blocks that way. So we're gonna go 500 blocks this way. And we're going to hope that it's full of a bunch of um, spawners. So yeah, one of these dungeons. These ones usually do have quite a lot of uh, spawners in them. Now the strat for these, believe it or not, is to do this. Then you can just make it all the way to the bottom. And then usually all the way up as well. Alright, so. Um, I will need my Silk Touch pickaxe. Now if we actually go into the dungeon, and you go room by room, as you can see, usually there's spawners. There's also other like little loot chests, but they rarely have anything that you want. At least in like modded games for some reason, it's usually some, you know, just average stuff. I mean, like, sure, some of this stuff's probably cool. Breaking iron ore has 20% chance to drop raw gold instead. Oh, cool. Extra stats. I mean, like, you know, <laughs> not horrible stuff. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be picking up pretty much all this. Whoa. Okay, so it wanted to switch to the drill that was in my backpack. Um, Let's go ahead. Oh, God. Let's let's set this to a whitelist. I forgot, honestly, I forgot we even had an auto tool swap thing because we just haven't used it. All right, we'll pick that guy up. While I'm down here, I may as well grab just about every spawner I can um, because, yeah, why not? Um, I will check these. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. They're so tempting to pick up. Is this guy broken? No, almost. What do we get? Uh, skeleton, spider, skeleton. Cool. Another gem that we... Ah, uh, why not? Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll be back. I'll, I don't know, grab a few more. I guess I, I, I can always come back for more, realistically. Pick this guy up too. Okay, let's head back home. Um, so... Ba -ba 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 -ba, we've got our spawner egg. We've got... Oh, we actually got a creeper spawner. Um, we'll do a skeleton one instead, because I think we've got two of those. Um, we'll head off into our jungle over here. I keep calling it a jungle, but you catch the drift. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll add this on. So, I believe all I need to do is switch to a real pickaxe. Break this guy. Place skeleton spawner here. Put in my spawn egg. It is now a cave creeper spawner. I will then grab a redstone receiver. I have to automate it. This guy crafts very slow. Um, or at least it feels like he does. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Um, on top of that... We'll place a block there. Da, 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 da. Aim our receiver down. Perfect. Let's grab a button screen module. Thank you. Shift right click that guy. And this thing's pretty much ready to go. Obviously, I'll I'll load it up with everything else that it needs. So like um, soul lantern, etc. <laughs> um, soul torch. That's easily done. Ah, grab a few of those. Why not? Um, soul lantern. So that ignores light. Um, what's the other stuff we need? Nether star to ignore players, I believe. Then we will need a redstone comparator to allow it to be controlled by redstone. And then it's just a bunch of sugar and then a bunch of clocks. A ridiculous amount of clocks. More more clocks than you think that it needs. Um, and then, oh yeah, there's also like wool and stuff that we need as well. Wool to make them quiet. And then a chorus fruit to make them no movie or explodey. And I think that's it. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we always go ground up. All right, sweet. So I'll be back. Uh, this guy, the spawn delay on him the, for the skeletons was already pretty low. That was actually pretty good. What is it for the rest of these? Yeah, spiders are at 800. Skeletons are at 300. And then the creepers are at eight. Get yourself some skeleton spawn and save you a few clocks. That's pretty good. All right, so ignores players, ignores control, ignores lights, no, cave, uh, no AI, AI and, and silent. Now... It's not spawning things for two reasons. One is obviously I don't have it turned on. And hopefully that's actually the only reason. It's possible it needs to be in a cave, but I kind of doubt it. 
All right, we'll chuck this in. We want to call the button um, cave creeper. And we'll make this one... I kind of want to make it gray. Does that show up? Yeah, it does. So we'll turn that on. Are we going to get cave creepers? Mm, not currently. Oh, so hold on. Hold on. I need to set it to be a toggle. And now when I press it, it stays on. Eh? Alright, I don't think cave creepers yet. It still doesn't really... Unless I'm just not seeing them, I don't think they're coming in. Now, the redstone should be applied. Meaning, in theory, this should be on. Um, so, ignores lights, ignores players. I think that it might have a requirement, a requirement to be in a cave. Requirement. 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 <laughs> um, to be in a cave. Which means, chances are, we need a dragon egg. Okay? That might be what today's focus is now on. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we need to do that. It might be easier than it looks. I don't think it will be. Okay, so. The main part of this, we do have dragon egg chunks. Or, or dragon scales, sorry. We have eight dragon scales. A chunk is made out of essence from a seed. The seed is made out of four scales, so we've got enough scales. We just need insanium essence. This needs four supremium, which needs four imperium, which needs four tertium, which needs four prudentium, which needs four inferium. Cool. Now, these guys need um, crystals to level them up, and the crystals have durability, meaning if we want to do it in this uh, refined storage system, We'll actually have to do it using our crafters that we set up uh, previously. We'll have to set some of those up. That's fine. We can do that. Alternatively, in terms of crystals, there is an infusion crystal that has no durability. The master infusion crystal. If we could afford to craft one of these, we would then not need to craft anymore. This guy should be able to just do all of it. In theory. Now, you would still run into the problem where... I, I think it would break... To be honest, I don't think uh, I'm not sure if they've fixed it so the refined storage can use an item that it gets itself. You know what I mean? Like if you're crafting with a bucket and a bucket of water, it doesn't understand that you get the bucket back. If that makes sense, so it'll want to craft like a billion buckets. I think it's the same with these crystals. There's, there is still a benefit to getting this because um, you just wouldn't have to craft more crystals. You wouldn't have to add that step of automation. But that's I mean that's not really a problem. Um. Let's, let's just automate all these. That's going to be the first step. All right, the recipes for that can all go in here. Nice and simple stuff. Boom, boom. Cool. So we can now order the crystals in theory. Um, in terms of essence, we do have a lot of Inferium. I still don't think that's enough. Let's fully automate the rest of these steps just so that we can figure out exactly how much we need. So um, all of these are actually going to have to be processing recipes, which makes this a little bit tricky, I guess. Um, what's the smartest way to go about doing this? Um, I think I just drag this in, drag this in, set this to four. I think that's the play. And I just continue doing that, that all the way up. All right, I've got the recipes. Uh, we'll now need a crafter. Now I was told, um, quite a few episodes back. I'll see if I wrote it down. I, I may not have, um, which is unfortunate. I might look it up. I'll, I'll you know, what? I'll look it up if it works. But somebody told me that you could actually take that crafter, like tier 3, and turn it into a tier 4. Now, I mean, it's not here. Like, it shows that it's not there. But, to be fair, to make these crafters, it's the same recipe every time. Like, it's two redstone torches, two crafting tables. So, maybe you can just do it anyway, and they don't have a recipe for it. You know what I mean? So, I mean, we'll try. Because, why not? Um, redstone torches... Grab two of those. No. I, sp I did it right? Yeah. Okay. So that, that's not a thing. I'll, I won't look for the comment. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'll, I'll spare you. Um, all right. Sweet. So we've got uh, five recipes. This should be fine. I should just be able to slap it over here. You know what? I may... <laughs> I, I still need to figure out what I'm going to do design-wise for this, uh, this line we're doing. We've got like that Saudi Arabia, the line that we're building. <laughs> um, so what do we have over here? We need... Uh, obviously the crafter, which we've got. We need an actual diamond crafter. We're going to need an importer and we're going to need an exporter. Now, 
the exporter can probably be normal. I might actually make the importer an ultra one just because I can see that helping. Um, and the exporter, and then we just need ender gates as well. So we'll grab one of those. Can I craft like 20 more of those? Awesome. And then that should be good. Sweet. All right, so all we, all we need now is just the room to do it, I guess. That looks fine there. Okay, so um, crafter can go here like that. Um, the This crafter will go there. He will have an importer here. He'll have an exporter there. Um, we'll place the end gate on so he's powered. Beautiful, so far so good. Um, obviously we're gonna need cables. So we'll grab out some of those to hook that up. Cool, place some extra ones there. <laughs> um, the recipes will go in. We'll also need a regulator and a crafting uh, upgrade. Both of these go in here. And these are essentially going to tell this guy to place one of each crystal in here. So an Inferium, a Prudentium, one of those, one of these, and one of those. And so they're all going to try to keep that in here, which will get rough <laughs> to say the least. Um, now I can't drag in templates to pre-fill this. So it's going to get messy, I think quite quickly. This import is fine. Now we just need to add the recipes. So should be pretty simple um, because it should just be this. And then all I need to do is say that um, results of the crafting operation go to the output buffer. Remaining items like buckets, or in this case crystals, will stay in the inputs. So that's what we want. We're gonna click apply. And I now need to do this for every recipe. And then we just need to hope that everything works. We definitely, I, I don't see us having um, enough resources to make everything that we want to make this episode, which means it's also going to be a bit of a farming episode um, to try to get some essence built up. Um, I can see that goes there. And then I guess we'll add this one too. Why not? Oh, that one's going to go here. Sorry. Add that. XC, apply. And then we'll click on an empty one. Because uh, one thing to note is with this regulator, he tries to keep, say, one Inferium Infusion Crystal. If I have this recipe open, he's confused when he looks in the crafter because he sees an infusion crystal and he considers that one of them. So he won't put a new one in if I have that open. Like, as you can see, if I take this out, a new one doesn't show up even though we can craft one. Um, so instead, just try to have an empty one selected. Or if you're gonna, if you fill this up and you need one selected, just tell this guy to keep two of them in. Um, cool. So once I put these recipes in, it's gonna get messy. The second I place this guy in, we should get it crafting already. I want it to be fast and it should craft enough to make uh, the green crystal. So I'm just going to do this bit by bit <laughs> so that we don't overload our system. Oh, he's already crafted. Oh, oh, hold on. Let's have not match because he's going to, yeah, he's going to craft more the second that the previous one um, loses some durability. So we'll do that. Um, now we've already got orange and blue in here. I haven't put those in there. I guess maybe we had some spare. That, that might make sense. So the blue's in there. That's fine, I guess. Um, next is red. This one's usually the most expensive. Obviously, there's Insanium, which is more expensive. But as you can see, this usually... It, it tests your limits. I'm still not sure. Oh, we got it. Okay. Next is recipe for Insanium. Now, it won't craft anything. Or at least it shouldn't. Because there's not an Insanium crystal that we're making. You are just disgusting. I despise all that you are. Okay, um, so let's have a look. This should be good. I can click remember, and that way these slots will remain available. So if I take this out, as you can see, nothing else can go in there. We'll always have a spot for each crystal. Arguably, I'm going to actually forget the remembered layout. I would like it to look right. Yeah, <laughs> just for the sake of it's nice to have them in, in, a, you know, in a nice order like that. Okay, so if I go in here and I search for Insanium... And I request one. Can we do it? We can. And it only actually costs a thousand. It's actually not that expensive at all. We can easily craft four of these. So I'm going to do that. This guy will start getting a bunch of resources. As you can see, crystals will get used up. Nothing else can go there. New crystal comes in and we're good. Sweet. <laughs> awesome. He could be faster, um, a lot faster by upgrading this crafter to a netherite one. So if I search crafter, we do have it available. He becomes about five times as fast. Um, I'm going to order one and I'll replace him because as you can see, like, I mean, that took a while. <laughs> All right. Netherite crafter. Let's go ahead and 
break this. Place, oh, I forgot I need to craft. Place that guy there. Turn on our magnet so we get all the recipes. And boom, 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 boom. Cool. Um, so now I do want to check that. If I, let's say I wanted four more Insanium, you know, maybe I do. Is this a lot? Yeah. As you can see, it fills up a lot faster. And we, we see the true limitation is just like um, these bits. Now, I can also see another problem where if this guy's full and we need, say, a Prudentium Crystal, if we don't have any backed up, like, and we don't have any room for it, I mean, that's a problem, right? We can run out. So I think what I'll do once this guy finishes is I'll remember at least one slot for each uh, ingredient because I think that will save us um, in the long run. I, I, I think that is the play. So let's go Essence. Oh, um, double S. Essence, I'll grab one of each out and I'll craft one more of each. Oh, and on the right side, we get some quests done. <laughs> so don't mind if I do. All right, and then we'll, uh, yeah, that's fine. So you, you, no, yeah, you, 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 and you. And we're gonna click remember. And that way at the very least, oh, it didn't remember. <laughs> okay, hold on. All right, I clicked remember. Oh, no, my bad, my bad. I, I keep forgetting. If you shift click, it uh, forgets. So we just need to manually take them out. We can, everything's fine. <laughs> so we'll do that. And so there'll always be at least room to do that. And so for example, once again, if I, let's say I wanted four more of them, maybe I do. <laughs> um, as you can see, it doesn't fill those up unless it's the right ingredient. Um, and I think that's gonna, yeah, just keep us safe from uh, not being able to craft certain crystals. So like, which I kind of, I wanted to see it for this and we might get to. Let's see, is this guy about to break? Ah, it doesn't matter anyway, there's enough room, but yeah. Either way, I am happy. Cool. Obviously there's a benefit if we set up our request to keep multiple crystals available, then they'll just quickly pop in. It's fine. Uh, I don't think it's slow enough to worry us, at least at the moment. Um, so now what we can do, uh, well, for starters, I'll probably just make a recipe for it. It's a bit silly of a recipe, but I think it's still fun. Um, we'll grab dragon seed recipes. So this seed here, we're gonna paste that recipe here. Collect this, thank you. We can then go and chuck it into the crafter that isn't here. <laughs> okay. Did I really put the crafter over here? I feel like we probably didn't need to do that. This guy, yeah, you'll get that. Um, so then, hold on, bear with me. I should be able to order dragon's egg seeds, craft one. There you go, how cool is that? <laughs> Sweet. Um, now, yeah, the, I mean, you already know, these are gonna get botany potted quite easily. Um, hmm. It's done. Seeds are in here. We didn't set this guy, he's not fully automated yet. Like, he just, the output's not automated. That's fine. Um, okay. So, we've got this. Um, I am just gonna do a botany pot. Sue me, at this point. <laughs> botany pot, flower pot. Let's craft a crazy amount, yeah. I won't regret that. All right, hop a botany pot, cool. Now, to actually plant these seeds, uh, they require a dragon egg crux as their dirt, I guess. Um, so this guy here cost us a little bit more Insanium, a diamond block and dragon scales, all of which we've got. And so there you go, dragon egg crux. But as, as you know, they're like, yeah, it's pretty expensive. So keep that in mind. Um, and now where do I want to place this guy? Do I have any more little windowsills? <laughs> um, I guess we've got some windowsills over here. I could probably make use of. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So I would like a framed two by two. Thank you. He's going to go right there. Uh, no, sorry. I need to actually do the thick inlaid stone. Grab two of them. Open up crafting grid. Open up this crafting grid. Two of them there. And this guy here. Or the other way around. There you go. Beautiful. So now he's at least a little bit camouflaged. Um, da -da 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 -da. Half a botany. He gets this and that. And he's begun. He'll start growing. Now, can I bone meal him? Question of the day and survey says I can. Now, he takes a fair amount, but as you can see, that's fine with me. Oh, actually, did it even work? Is it a chance? Oh, no, it should be a hundred. Oh yeah, sorry. 
It's going down here. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, I swear. Um, so we need three chunks. These are going to be nine each. So we need 27 essences, which means this guy's gonna run for a while. Um, I have a different idea. I reckon we set something up that just applies the bone meal for us, right? That seems like the play. Now, I think a dispenser can do it. Let's let's be real here. We're probably just gonna get a modular uh, router since these are the, the new kids on the block. Um, this guy has a security upgrade and a breaker module. I do not want it to break things. We would like it to actually activate things. So we have an activator module. Um, currently he's set up to use a spawn egg. So let's get a wither spawn egg in that. Uh, we wanted to right click, not sneak. Um, and we're going to whitelist bone meal in there. And I think that's just it. I think that's good enough. We'll chuck him in. Give him some bone meal. There you go. All he needs now, you guessed it. Good lot of speed upgrades. And there we go. Cool. So once this guy realizes he can harvest, a new one pops in. Obviously, I'm gonna need a lot more bone meal in here. Let's grab, um, I, honestly, I don't want this guy fully, aut like non-stop automated, if that makes sense. Like, I think it's fine, completely fine if I just fill him up this once sort of thing, or I guess he's only got a one buffer spot, doesn't he? What do I need? I need, <sighs> no, I know what to do. I, I know exactly what to do. You'll just have to bear with me for a second. I'm gonna grab a chest. I'm gonna put a lot of this stuff away because <laughs> it just shouldn't be in my inventory. Uh, so we got a chest. I'm pretty sure there's a puller module, right? Yeah, that's what we want. And we'll have it pull the stuff from the chest. Eh? Eh? Um, so the thick inlaid stone I can place here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's probably just a framed chest, isn't there? <laughs> Excellent. So this will become a frame chest that will be thick inlaid stone. <laughs> Perfectly camouflaged. Um, so this guy's going to have all of our bone meal. Beautiful. Um, the puller module. I don't know how he works. He's going to pull from the back and he's going to pull bone meal on a whitelist. I think that's just going to work. Yeah, there you go. And by the looks of things, he can actually keep up. He's fast enough to do it. So all I need to do is grab a bunch of bone meal and we're good. All right, he's filled up with bone meal. That should hopefully keep him running for long enough. Um, and there you go. You guessed it. You knew it was coming. It's been a while, but Bob's your uncle. Um, sweet. So we just need 27 of that, and then we can make a dragon egg. We can chuck that on the cave creeper thing. Bada bing, bada boom. Everything's good. Um, I'm going to possibly thumbnail this because the episode, although we're setting up a cave creeper spawner, might be better to be like dragon egg uh, automation. You know what I mean? Because... I mean, that's what it is. Even with this not running, the dragon egg is automated just by being in that botany pot. Uh, well, I guess he's not fully automated just yet. Let's, hey, if we're going to be true to, the, true to the title, all we do is add this recipe, which by the way, what's, oh no, that's fine. Um, yeah, and then just add this recipe. And now it properly, it is automated. Cool. Where are we? 27? It'll get there. Um, cool. So what now? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think we just sit here and go, ah, <sighs> look at the beautiful environment. Do we still have, we still have night vision on. You guys would have had a very bright episode today. Um, how's this guy doing? I like to pop in every now and then. I I've never seen one of these bars filled up. The, co the idea of having all of these filled to the brim sounds pretty cool. I, I, I do like that. Um, the shearing stuff's pretty cool as well. You can, it's quite a few different shearing things. Hmm. What are we looking at uh, in the fortune department? Is it still going up? It is. It's at 84. That's pretty good. Um, you know what? We do still have... I, th I think we placed it in here. The sword. The old Amadi one. Um, the only difference between these two is the enchant... Like, I want to be using the old Amadium sword, to be honest. Um, so, I may just strip the enchants off of our... Crimson Iron Sword. But by the way, I might make a new sword in one of these following episodes, but I think for now, um, should be good. All right, but yeah, I'm going to chuck this guy in the enchantment extractor. There we go. And by the way, the armory cabinet still doesn't tell me where anything is. So I'm pretty sure that sword is likely gone, <laughs> at least until I fix this guy. Um, for context, he's only going to export things that can be disenchanted. Um, and then this guy's meant to send them back into the armory cabinet. And if I hold crash, there's nothing there. If we look underneath 
there's nothing connected to it. So the stuff, it's, look, it'll come up one day, okay? One day it'll come up. Um, because normally if you crouch, you're meant to be able to see it. You know what I mean? Um, I could do an external storage, but we'll sort of move past that. I might actually have an external storage all the way up there. I don't know. It's fine though. We don't need the sword back. We're instead, we've got this sword, our new friend. Let's also turn off our magnet. Um, and this guy needs a few things. Item filter. So we want capturing. We want max level capturing. Now I can take out two full books. Um, if I had an anvil here, which I guess I'll just quickly craft. The question I was going to propose was, can I combine them in an anvil? Survey says, um, boom, boom. I can, cool. Um, I've got 600 levels. I think it's fine. We'll just, we'll do that. Now, if I chuck this in here and we go back to capturing, you'll see now I can pull out, um, a tier three book. And so you guessed it. We take out two, three tier three books and see if we can push those together. Um, tier four. I'll take now capturing. You don't need it, right? <laughs> Especially with the mob swabs, but it's still kind of nice to have because when you kill mobs and you do get the spawn eggs, it's kind of like, oh sweet, like that saves me from doing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It saves saves me some time, so I don't mind doing this. Capturing tier five, sure, I'll take it. Chuck it in there. All right, so that's the most we've got at the moment. We can't withdraw more, so capturing tier five will go on our final sword. Um, cool. As for looting. I'm pretty much going to have to go through all of these. As for looting, um, tier four we've got. We can pull out another tier four. Let's see if uh, we can slap them together for tier five. We can. I'll take it. <laughs> Chuck that in. Rinse and repeat. Um, I would do this off camera, but I kind of like this. Or at least at the moment I do. So I'm just going to assume you guys are going to enjoy watching this too. We've got tier six. <laughs> go back in. Looting. How far can we go? I'm pretty sure vanilla, it stops at three, doesn't it? We're now at seven. <laughs> okay. Chuck it back in. And by the way, when you do this, the only thing you're losing is um, your personal experience. The amount of like levels you've got in the system for that book, the, the points, um, that's equal. Like it's the same when it's uh, combined. So you're not losing stuff as you go through this in terms of the enchantments. Um, this is what, eight? Six, seven, eight. Yep, there we go. And I think that's the most we can do. I don't think we have uh, enough to get another tier eight book out. No. Okay. So we've got looting tier eight. We've got capturing. Um, do I want sharpness? I almost just don't. Because it's... I mean, look at this. It's going to be so much effort to combine all these. All right. We're sharpness nine. Um, I just wanted to pop in because the sharpness 10 is going to look pretty cool. It's just going to be a, an X. Ready? Boom. Sharp. Oh, no. We can't actually go higher. Or at least it looks like we can't go higher than sharpness nine. Now, there is something we can try. Sometimes the enchantment applicator, I think it depends on some configs, um, will let you go higher than the anvil will. Now, if this doesn't work, you lose a level of, uh, you, you essentially lose a level of your um, enchant. So what we'll do is chuck in our sword and give it sharpness nine. Oh, it went down to sharpness four. Okay, well, I mean, we already can see that's not gonna work then. Okay. Well, we tried. Um, as for removing the enchant, I'm probably just not going to. We'll just override it in an anvil or something. But that's fine. Sharpness 9, we'll take it. Um, is there anything else we want? Looting, sharpness, capturing. Uh, we could do beheading. That doesn't appear to be a, an enchant though, so we're good. Um, or at least it's not in here. Cool. I'll say that's fine then. Um, sharpness, capturing, and we'll grab looting. I know there's um, severing as well, actually. We might do severing. Yeah, let's do that. Because that's um extra reliquary, uh, rel reliquary drops. I don't remember what the word is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, we'll just quickly level this guy up. And then I'll actually put these books in. I forgot to... You can combine them into one book. I don't know if you save experience doing that, but we'll probably, probably just do that anyway. All right, and we've gotten up to nine, and I don't think we will be withdrawing another nine books, so that's fine. So I'll actually put these all back in. Severing nine. Um, looting, what do we get? Looting eight or something. Um, sharpness nine, um, and capturing five we've got on this book. Pretty, pretty hefty book. And then if we chuck it in here, sharpness nine, severing nine, looting eight, Capturing five. 
How does that sound? It costs 64 levels. I'd say thank you. We're now at 21.5 attack damage. And this sword is now pretty good, if I say so myself. Um, another thing we can do is we can search Dragon Egg. And we can craft... Oh, we're missing 26. Oh, yeah, I don't have that uh, that guy hooked up to the system. Um, should I? I probably should, shouldn't I? Let's go... Entangled Binder. Entangle this guy. We're going to want this guy to be an exporter. So we'll, we'll go around the back end here. Um, are any of these not hooked up anymore? This guy's not bound. So I'm going to pick this up. We're going to get an... Imp I guess now that I'm in single player, I don't know. Maybe I could try it again and see if it's still a problem. Oh, well, I'm not in single player, but you get what I mean. Um, so what am I doing here? Oh yeah, we're importing. But I do still want a detector hooked up. Did I place them above? What was the strat over here? I didn't really do it anywhere. Um, I do want a detector. So we'll chuck that guy there. Um, and we're going to go Dragon Egg Essence in here. And I'm going to set it to 27. Um, specifically emit signal when on a mount. That should be fine. And we'll have this guy to work without redstone signal. So once we have 25 in the, or 27 in the system, it should turn off. That's enough for an egg. Um, and then that should be good. And so he's import, he's, I mean, he should be good, right? Mid signal when needed. All I have to do now is actually bind him there. And so we should start getting this essence. And once it reaches 27, it will stop. And that way we can always order one egg. And then we're still using the draw. Now we don't need to do this, but I, it just feels dumb having the draw there and having it, um, what's the word I'm trying to say? And having it just be empty. You know what I mean? Like, just like what, why do we even bother with the draw at that point? Um, I don't know. Anyway, dragon egg, I will order. As you can see, more essence will come in. We now have another dragon egg. And you ready? Um, so, we're going to get cave creepers spawning. The thing I want to look at is iron ore. This is the rate at which iron ore is currently coming into the system. Okay? <laughs> so, there you go. Not much. Nothing. I think our quarry is probably not chunk loaded or something. Um, next up is gold. Same thing. It doesn't really look like it's going up at all. Um, diamonds. Same thing by the looks of things. And then I think the last one is uh, emeralds, which that's not going as well. So... I chuck this in here for the cave creeper. We now have cave creeper spawning. Oh, you know what? I need to actually increase the max entities. Um, fermented spider eyes and gas tears. My bad, my bad. So we'll hold that to increase the spawn count. As you can see, we're getting quite a lot, quite a lot more. And then the gas tears for the max entities to go up. And as you can see, this is pretty good. <laughs> we're getting a decent amount. Now I am curious, do they ever spawn in this part here? I don't think they do, do they? They have a spawn range of five. They Sometimes they fall into that range, but I don't know if they're actually spawning there. I kind of, I think I'll put one blaze rod in there and see if that somehow helps. Oh God, oh God, we almost died. <laughs> All right, everything's fine. Hold on, let me just go back through the woods. I just wanna add one more and see if that does anything. So it's going from four to spawn range five. We'll see. I think, I think I do see them spawning in this row now. I've seen a few already. Maybe. Yeah, I like that guy there. Cool. Nice. Um, so now that they're spawning, let's have a look. So if I go to Iron Ore, um, I mean, it's going. Uh, look, it's not insane by any means, but the number is going up. Do we, are we getting diamonds at a rate? We actually are. We're getting diamonds arguably a lot faster than we should be. The diamonds are meant to be a very low percentage. And it's actually going up pretty good. Uh, same with emeralds. On it, like it's not much. It's going up like you know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know what I mean? Like not too crazy, but um, a lot more than I thought we'd get. Okay, so there's a few notes to to take from this. One is, is it worth it? Currently, I would say no, not at all. Especially for the amount of entities we're adding into the world. Although. What if I had a lot of them? <laughs> like, what if we had a lot of them? You know what I mean? What happens then? The other thing is they're going to store in here, as you can see. Do we want that? I'm not sure. We can store about 200,000 of them, so it's fine that they're there. You know, they'll, 
they'll have a fine time. But it's sort of like, do we, is that what we want? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm really not sure. Um, a quarry would be faster, but obviously you've got to make sure that you've got an area set for the quarry. It obviously needs a lot of power. So if I would make multiple quarries, that's a lot of power. The quarries have a pretty big strain on the server as well. They're pretty rough. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like we're about to get our first thousand iron. We've got 300,000 iron total over the entire time we've had quarries running. Obviously we've crafted stuff with it, but like that's our, t that's all we've got. I, I feel like it hasn't been like, it hasn't been that long for us to get a thousand iron. You know what I mean? Like if you multiply that, it's probably been about a minute, you reckon? Maybe two minutes? These episodes are normally an hour long or, or even longer in the recording sometimes. We've got like, I don't know, like 50 episodes or something. I reckon we'd have a lot more. And this is only one spawner. I could pro I could quite easily make multiple, especially now that we can just swab more of those spawners. I could probably even just swing at a couple of those creepers as they're falling and get um, some creeper spawn eggs. Like genuinely. Like the fact that we've... Um, Got severing five on this guy. Like if I just, if, if <laughs> okay, apparently they're, hold on. It's like a fun little game. I honestly, I really want to get one. Cause that does sound pretty good. I think I need to like, they're actually, how am I not killing them? <laughs> why, why aren't they dying? <laughs> Do I need knockback or something so I can like slam them up at the wall? I think I'm killing more. <laughs> okay, well, listen, listen, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. Because I, I do think that that's actually, although it's not going up crazy fast, it, like, it seems pretty good. Like, it genuinely, I'm pretty convinced. I think we might set up multiple of these. <laughs> oh, God. How many, do I do them all above this same one? Is that something I really want to do? Like just, you know what I mean? Like, like just ha keep having the creepers ab above one another. And then we, <sighs> what would we have? We'd have like more than a hundred creepers at a time falling through here. Or I set up multiple modules, multiple modules. That's just going to cost us extra time to make the portal. We don't have to put the wall up. The wall was sort of just there for the slimes, I think. Um, and the blazers, multiple portals, one per chunk, dropping mobs in, teleporting back to there. What do we think? I, I reckon it'll be fun. I reckon we might just do it just purely because it'll be fun. Um, now I think I wrote something else around. Oh yeah. Have detectors turn on the spawners. Um, colder 9157, uh, suggest that in the comments of the last episode, that's a really good idea. Like it genuinely is. Now I like having these buttons and having them as a manual override is pretty good. But what we can also do is we can have, yeah, detectors from refined storage hooked up to with uh, redstone uh, transmitters and we can have them turn them on when we don't have a certain amount of item. You know what I mean? Like let's say we need slime balls. I could say, hey, keep, you know, 50,000 slime balls in the system. If we use more than that, they'll turn on, spawn slimes until it gets to that amount and turn them off. That's a great idea. It, it genuinely is. Um, the, the thing is, I'm not going to set it up just yet, partly because, uh, I don't know, I'm a little bit lazy, kind of want this episode to be done. It's a pretty good episode, 40 minutes, we've got a lot done. Um, part, the, the other reason is I don't know how much I want, you know what I mean? Because even right now, like, do I want to push until we have a full stack of, like, each original ingredient, or do I do it, set up, like, I don't know. I think for now, I'm, I'm okay with it. I think once we start using the resources, then I'll worry about um, automating it like that. See, like the, honestly, I could do it for Wither Skeletons. I could say, hey, keep this on until you have 200,000 uh, Wither Skeleton Skulls and then turn it off. Because like right now, like honestly, that's enough. I, I probably don't need more. And by turning that off, it probably leaves a lot more room for, you know, more creepers and just better performance everywhere else. I don't know. I don't know. But I'll tell you what, I am genuinely very happy with how this has gone. Got a pretty cool sword. We've got cave creepers spawning. Um, we've got uh, dragon eggs automated. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's genuinely pretty good. I can 
I can justify making um dragon eggs for the rest of the spawners. I don't think they need them because they're, they're obviously spawn regardless, but I can do it. You know, we could do it for the squid if we wanted to. I kind of like the squid section. The squid spawner we have is quite horrendous in terms of just like how it works, <laughs> but I do like it. it. Look, it gets the job done. We've got... I will say, uh, on that single slot to be filled with this item and voids anything that overflows. Void any, void overflow. I wanted it to fill up all of those slots. Like, it's fine, it's just... I don't know. Because currently, yeah. <sighs> what can I do? Mm, not sure. Alright, well anyway, I will wrap this one up here. Why not? Got the job done. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do consider subscribing. It helps out my channel. For those of you that have been subscribed, um, whether it's just today or whether it's since day one, thank you. I, I, I do appreciate it. Um, I don't think many other YouTubers appreciate people that are already subbed. Usually they're just like, oh, you guys aren't subbed. I need you to... And I'm sitting there and I've been subscribed for years and it's like, why, why are you punishing me? Why do I have to listen to this? I've done my time. I've <laughs> I've been subbed. Like, I, I, I can't sub anymore. There's no sub to button. Um, so thank you guys. Thank you for subbing. Um, yeah. Thank you for liking the video if you have. If you haven't, it's fine. Not the end of the world. Um, I really like videos, so I'm not going to, you know, be that guy. Um, yeah. I will say... Uh, yeah, we'll probably do Dragon Egg Automization this episode. And then next episode, if we do multiple Cave Creeper spawners... That's a much better Cave Creeper Spawner episode. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Um, yeah, thank you to our donators and channel members. Thank you to our Tier 3 channel members. Melizzi, Andre, and Final Phoenix 13. Thank you guys. Once again, don't don't feel pressured or obliged to become a member or even continue being a member or donate or any of that. Um, the videos will happen regardless. Thank you to those of you who have. Um, anyhow, thank you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.